What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. Wow, we got a crazy story, you know, crazy story. So, within the last 24 hours, Tank Davis lost his ish on Floyd Diddy Haney. Floyd Diddylicious Haney. Let me see if I've got them pictures still up. Ah, uh, allow it. You know what? It's one of them. You know I can't, I can't miss these photos. Floyd Mayover P. Diddy. This ain't, listen, any time... You have to say no, or any time you have to put Diddy name in something, you have to show the receipts. This is why. I don't know nothing about Floyd Money Mayweather, especially after we get to Javonta Davis's claims. So I don't know all about that Money Mayweather. He sound broke. Not for my opinion. I don't know nothing. I'm broke, but I'm telling you, Floyd broke too. Oops. That's what we know for a fact. He broke his joke. He's stuck in Dubai right now. But anyway, you get the point. I'm sure you can see it. Look, 100%. Floyd Diddy Mayweather. Yeah? That's what evidence. Look, who doing this? Where are they doing this at? We don't know. Anyway, let's get to Javonta Davis's madness. Here we go. Diddy get on live. Tell him show where he at. Yo, and them people over in Dubai that money. Tell him get on live right now. And he old people in Saudi Arabia money too. Broken. Out here scamming people. Oh, you fancy. Tell him get on live right now. Our keyword fancy. F A N C Y. Oh, man, Enter on our free. Floyd to get on live. Tell him show. So. <laughs> Now, I ain't gonna lie, yeah, we could all write this off. There's a lot of Floyd sucker offers. There's a lot of sucker offers in the comment hate comment section hating on Javonta. And we could call Javonta a liar, but we know this conveniently. What we know for a fact is, yeah, Floyd Mayweather did a video with Bill Haney. And he got into it with Bill Haney, saying Bill Haney was on a milk carton somewhere. He missing. Two twos in that video, Floyd already confessed... I'm in Dubai. So we know he's there. It's not like, oh, Javon is just capping and we see Floyd in Miami. He's in Dubai. And the second piece of circumstantial evidence, which has this claim, if you watch the Floyd Mayweather, I think it's the fight hype, if you watch Floyd Mayweather's reaction to Devin Diddy's performance against Ryan Garcia, in that video, Floyd says, oh, apologies, I look a bit rough. I haven't had a haircut or a trim. Oops. So, how's that relevant? Well, Tank Davis is telling us that the Dubai Donnies, the Sheikh Salman Prince Turkey Donnies, have got Floyd caught up in Dubai. Riley, what's that got to do with a haircut? Well, if you're caught up and stuck in a hotel somewhere, you ain't getting no barber. Right? You're going to be looking musty. They want their money. <laughs> or, their, or your booty hole. <laughs> That's why I can't work out yet. Something's got to be true. Okay. Is Floyd broke? He might be broke. What's more likely though? Yeah? Javonta says, Hey man, Floyd's been trying to scam the Saudis and scam the Dubai people. But that doesn't make sense to me. How can you really scam them, man? All they're going to be paying Floyd for, commercially speaking, is appearances, essentially, right? Or a little corny exhibition flight fights. Floyd is fought in London, yeah, with 10 people in the crowd. So, there's no way Floyd's diddling the Saudi guys for moody exhibitions. He'd fight a bum. He'd, he'd fight a misfits bum, no doubt. So, let's work it out here. Why would Floyd owe them money? I don't think he does owe them money. Oops. I think he owed them his booty hole. And he ain't want to give it up. That's what I think happened here, yeah? I think the Dubai cat said to Floyd, Hey, yo, come fly out. We're going to put you on. Come fly out. We want some of that goat booty. He got there. He thought they was just playing or something. He thought they was, oh, yeah, you want some of the goat. Because you know what Floyd's ego is like. Floyd's ego would have been telling him, oh, yeah, they, they, they want to be around the goat. Damn. Yeah? They want to be in the goat, not around him. Tell lie. They want the goat's lips. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it make sense. Is Floyd that broke? <laughs> like normally, I don't know. So you're telling me. Like, if Floyd was going to do a scam, yeah, Floyd would say, hey, yo, Dubai Prince, why are me the money today? 
whilst I'm in the States and I'll come fly out and do it. Yeah? Who does a scam where they get to the country, get the money and then don't perform? It doesn't make no sense. So Floyd got the money and went there, which tells me he was planning on doing what he was supposed to do. Otherwise, why go? Oops. And then they flipped it on him. They told him, listen, Floyd, you, you think we're going to pay you 10 mil to go and shake some hands? That's not what it is. Yeah, we're paying you 10, 10 mil to come party party. Let's not forget. Listen, I've seen it, yeah? If I've seen these photos of Floyd Diddy Mayweather, you best believe them zesty, them zesty sandy cats, yeah? They've seen them too. And that's what they're expecting. Yeah, they're expecting Floyd's parcel on a platter for sure. Because I can't make it make sense. How can Floyd be that broke? He's got to rob people for their money. It don't make no sense. Unless he's that broke. Unless it's some weird cabal thing where you just want to... I've heard that though. I've heard that loaded people are the tightest individuals going. So you might have 100 mil in the bank here. If you think you can scrap and scratch and scrape another 3 mil here and a 2 mil there, you try to do it. I don't know. It's some... Maybe it's... Or well, some people have hypothesized it's something to do with the psyche of the shekel. The shekel just wants to absorb all coin. <laughs> like a black hole. Don't want to let no coin get out. Even coin that's not theirs they want. Do you understand? I, just, I, find, I, I, I believe Javonta. I believe, based on what I've explained, Floyd is stuck in Dubai. Apart from them wanting his booty, yeah, what else could it be? I'm stuck in Dubai. Floyd, you haven't delivered on our commercial agreement. Well, you'd just go and do it, wouldn't you? If it wasn't something you didn't want to do, obviously Floyd was... Listen, people. This situation here is a st case study of consent. Yeah? Floyd consensually party-parted with Diddy. When he pulled up to them Dubai man, them Sandy Cats, yeah? He was like, whoa! These men are on a madness. Yeah? He just want, Floyd just want to be doing some kissing and shit. Pause. No Diddy. That's what this photo shows here. He get there and they're under complete madness. He realised that's his gonna that's gonna end up being his ass. That's what he realised. And he, <laughs> he don't wanna do it. And they got him posted up there. He's stuck there now. He's stuck there. So I think Javonta's got the wrong end of the stick here. Yes, he owes them money, but they've told him, they've told him Floyd, listen, we don't want your money now. We want your soul or what's less left of it. Yeah? Whatever them American executives haven't taken from you, we want whatever's left of your soul. That's what's happened here. And Floyd like, oh my, oh damn, I ain't got no soul left to give. Yeah? Oops. How else would it make sense? I bet, Floyd was, I bet Floyd's in there now trying to politic. He's like, no, no, take the money back. They don't want the money back. Do you understand that? You took the money, it's kind of like a deal with the devil. If you take the money from the devil, you can't then give it back. You can't backtrack. You can't say, well, I didn't, no. You've taken the money now, it's your money. Deliver on the product. Yeah? Which is your backside. That's what I'm... You can say I'm mad. But you make it make sense to me. Who here think Floyd... How much money would he really scammed him for? Don't make... It doesn't follow in my mind. Why would... For, for, for what would Floyd not want to deliver on, potentially? I think... What, what could they possibly want him to do? That he... I've gone to Dubai and I'm trying to rip someone off. How? It, it, it's just difficult to... To equate, but he's definitely stuck there because listen, even if Floyd doesn't have the money that he says he has, he's got enough for a hundred dollar barber, and that's expensive, right? Well, I know them man, them celebrity man, they pay like two bags for a haircut, but even so, Floyd's definitely got 10, 30, 20, 50 mil around him. So, why ain't he got his haircut? Oh, he's stuck somewhere, and them man have been doing that when that Saudi leader came in. What's his name? Prince Salomon, Mohammed bin Salomon, that's it. When then, when he came into power, he locked up all the old guard into the, I think it was the Sheraton, some sort of swanky hotel, and he took them all, he basically put, locked them all up in some hotel somewhere and told them, it's not going to carry on going like it was going, yeah? You need to send the money up to me. Classic kind of, um, what do you call it? Classic Game of Thrones situation. That's documented and happened. All the big dogs from the former... It's not a former regime. They're all one family, but it, it kind of branches off. It's not the son of the son. It, it, it all goes a bit mad. So the old guard, Salomon got in power and put them all in a hotel. And they had to give all their coin away, essentially, literally. 
He wanted payment up front. So that man, they've been doing that. Yeah, they'll put you in a hotel and tell you to sit somewhere. You ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, that's what we know for a fact. And that's where Floyd find himself. And these aren't my words. Javonta saying it. Here's some more evidence here. So some guys tweeted to Javonta. Let me find out Floyd's being held hostage in Dubai. Javonta Davis says he got to pay them people that money back. If I'm lying, tell him go live right now. He been stuck over there for a minute too. Now... There's only one of two ways to explain this, yeah? Floyd's... Let, I, I believe Floyd's stuck there. Javonta was saying, show us, go live. Show us where you at. Show us you can leave. Floyd ain't do nothing, but Floyd has replied. Floyd hasn't refuted. And for someone like... Or someone like Floyd, who has a big ego, he'd never let you... He'd never want it out there that he's stuck somewhere. That he can't... That he's been touched, right? He'd come out and say, what are you talking about, Javonta? I'm out here. I'm in the Louis store. Yeah, you bugging. He ain't do that. Now, he did some funny attacks on Javonta. But that's all he did. He didn't respond to the claim. So again, in my opinion, it adds weight. Um, but like I said, let's break it down now. He got to pay them people that money back. Well, it's one of two things here. Why doesn't Floyd just pay it back? Right? The only reason he wouldn't just pay it back is either, one, he ain't got it to pay back. Is he that broke? How much did he take? I don't know, but it don't really make... Floyd talk about all his investments. Is he is he capping? He's got 30 homes. Do you believe Floyd took some money and couldn't possibly pay it back if he needed to? No. That doesn't make no sense, does it? What's more likely is this was some sort of cabal agreement. He took the coin and they come to collect. And it don't work like that with a cabal. Yeah, you can't renege. You can't say, oh, I don't fancy... Get my booty pop now I'm here. It's it's a wrap for you. Yeah? We know this. Once you sign, do a deal with the devil, it's over. Yeah? Over. Over, over. You party partying now. Do you understand? Yeah? Cat Williams said, Did he want to be partying? And I'm telling you now, the devil want to party. And you got to tell him no. Got to. You can't take the money from the devil. Oh, I'll party with you, devil. I want to party, party with you, devil. Take the money and then say, actually, no. Yeah, you might have seen them, them Saudi port videos. You, you man are mad. I didn't, didn't expect this one. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm a little bit zesty. Me and Diddy, we a bit freaky. Yeah, that's what Floyd said. Floyd said, listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought it was gonna be a little Diddy party, party. I thought it was gonna be a little Diddy freak off. You man are different though. You man on an extra. You man are on an extra thing. Just, whoa, too much. Take the coin back. No, you ain't going nowhere, Floyd. That's what happened. The dude looked, looked at him square in his eye and said, You ain't, no. <laughs> essentially, you ain't going nowhere. Licking their lips. Yeah, you best believe it. That's what happened. And Floyd's like this now. Oh, with his, his, all of his wigs all dusty looking and, and his beard's all dusty because he, he's stuck right now. Super stuck. Between a rock and a hard place, literally. Two hard places. Boop. From both angles, allegedly. Do you understand? He... 100%. He between... A rock and a spit roast, people. That's what he between right now. And he going through it. It makes sense, because... Bill Haney was on there pressing Floyd, and Floyd looked emotional in there. I couldn't work out why, but... If you're under stress... Yeah? If you're post... If you're locked up in Dubai, essentially... And the only way you can get out... Is to get your booty popped. You're going to be stressed. Yeah? You're going to be feeling the, the pressure. I can't leave this hotel room. I can't even get my... My Turkish... My new Turkish... Barnet fixed. Right? He's stressed. That's why he felt he was emotionally vulnerable when Bill Haney was pressing him. Anyway, let's get some more of... Some more of Javonta Davis's response. So, yeah. he got to pay them people that money back. If I'm lying, tell him to go live right now and... Javonta Davis has been saying this consistently. Yeah? Javonta Davis says he's been stuck over there for a minute too. Do you know what I mean? It's nuts. <sighs> there has been rumours that Floyd's been broke, but how can he be broke though? How can he be broke though? He can't be broke broke. He can't be trying to scam dudes broke. Sure. I just don't understand how that's possible. I think there's something deeper going on. If I'm honest. Obviously, we'll never know. Now, 
some people have speculated, and I can't lie, the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, Tank's got a fight coming up, and they're trying to promote the fight. But the issue with that narrative is, the fight isn't until, like, June 15th. That's damn near seven weeks away. Dropping this kind of heat would make sense. This Floyd and Javonta beef, which we have seen before, I believe the Rolly fight, maybe, or one of them ones, Javonta was saying, oh, I'm leaving Floyd, and oh, I'm going, and then after the fight, they was all hugging and kissing. But this has been, or oh, 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 maybe it's going to be a seven-week build-up. Maybe this is a start, and they're going to use this beef between him and Floyd again to drive the pay-per-view numbers up. But the way that Floyd went in, I'm doing a video tomorrow, the way that Floyd replied was mad. This was It was personal. Super personal. Bottom line. Super duper personal. I've never seen it like this before. Yeah? This was X-rated, this kind of one here. I think he's got some more bars here. For example, he, he, there's a guy that Floyd hangs around with. His name's... His name's... Where is it? His name's Jason. Jason Lee. Type in Jason Lee. He's like a radio host, a zesty radio host, yeah? Super zesty. And Tank replies to him. Hey, when... So Jason Lee, who's essentially Floyd's mayor of his boyfriend, he starts shilling for Floyd, saying, Oh, I'm a huge fan of Tank. And he will always have an open door to Hollywood Unlocked, which is the show that Jason Lee runs, which Floyd may have backed financially, allegedly. i just seen his post that Floyd may have paid us to post negative about him. That never happened, and I would never allow anyone to pay to attack someone. Tank Davis says, you lie and you know it. You and him, f u c k in. Oops. You and him, f u c k in. No diddy. Yeah. I have screenshots of it. Oh, damn. Oh. I have screenshots of it. Screenshots of what? This one here. I have screenshots of it. And the Nick backtracked after I cussed him out about it. Okay, now he's talking about the the Hollywood Unlocked leaks. So, yeah. This is personal, man. Tank saying that him and his... Him and Floyd... Well, Tank saying that Floyd and his zesty best friend, they've been doing the most. Way too much. They've been party-partying. For real, for real. Do you understand? Um, there's some more bars, I believe, somewhere around here. I think it's here. Oh, no, look, the Javantas is going in. Look, look at these people. Look at these bars. That money looking funny. <laughs> that money looking funny. Like that fake-ass Turkish hair on his head and face. <laughs> this is a, this is mad. Just nuts, people. See what I'm trying to say now? This is actually personal. And the response that Floyd put out, he put the videos of Javonta Davis dancing all zesty. So it's, this is personal. If this is just promotion, fair play to them. But, I mean, this is mad. Javonta says, they got Floyd ass for real. Tell him I'll send a wire. Let my family go. <laughs> these bars are fair play to Tank, man. I think, he, I think he's scary when it comes to fighting top dudes. But his bars on this Floyd situation are fire. They got Floyd R. See what I mean? Right, bear in mind the conversation I've just told you. Is this here a cabal subliminal? Yeah? They got Floyd R. For real. Do you know what I mean? Again, make it make sense financially, people. It doesn't make sense. They just want the money back, does it? It just send the money back and it wouldn't be a thing. Yeah? If Floyd was legitimately stuck in Dubai and he'd try to rip someone off, he'd just say, take the money back and, and leave. And here's some interest or compensation kind of thing. Why would you try and litigate it in Dubai? You know that's not going to work. Yeah? They got Floyd... They, oh, sorry. They want Floyd ass for real. That's what I'm reading here. They want Floyd ass for real. Tell him I'll send him a wire. Let my family go. <laughs> oh, no. Look at this one here. Let me call 50. we got to get this Nick home by Monday. Just, just mad. Fair play to Javonta, man. These bars was up there. Top bars. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, people. Oh yeah, another thing. People are saying maybe they're trying to set up a Javonta Davis versus Floyd fight, but that would never happen. Floyd is way, Floyd's way too scary, and so is Javonta. Neither of them would want that, so that would never happen. But it's interesting. Let's see how it plays out. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell, 100%, and no doubt about it. Stop it.